Hi everyone, I hope you are doing super well. Happy back to school season. I know a lot of you guys are going back to school and school is kind of in full swing now. You guys wanted me to do a bind your set of video and I am so happy. Thank you for suggesting that because this video is going to be one of my favorites, I think. So I hope that you guys learned something new from this or you just enjoy this video and let's just go on right into it. So you can see here that I just kind of started setting up the names of my binders. So you guys will see later in my back to school supplies haul. I plan to have that video up by next week, I think. I have some kind of pocket sleeves and I was thinking that the names of my binders would go in there. So I kind of just selected a font that I liked. I picked Courier New and these are all of the subjects that I think require a binder. So they're my four core subjects. If you're wondering, they are AP US History, AP Language and Composition, Chemistry Honors, and AP Calculus BC. So these are what the binders are for and I named them and you'll just kind of see me going through this process. So now that the names of my binders are done, I'm going to move on to my tab dividers. This organization is kind of messy, so I'm sorry about that, guys. But basically, I tailored each tab divider to fit the class, but my basic foundation was handouts, lectures, notes, homework, and classwork. I know that I had to have all of those for most of my classes. Of course, you guys can change it up. Sometimes you have to follow a specific format given to you by your teacher. So it all depends on you, but I hope that this served as a good example. This is my final step there. You can see my binder names and below you will soon see my tab dividers. So now let's head off to the printer. So now I ended up doing some decorating, but I'm not much of an artist, so I really just did some simple polka dots. So since my AP US History binder is orange, I chose to have one color um, match the color of my binder, and then I chose kind of another color to just complement the primary color. And you know, you can go all out if you want, or you can just do something as simple as me. And I think it turns out great either way. These are how all my covers turned out. I hope you liked them. As you can see, it's very simple and minimalistic, but it still looks nice. So now I'm going to move on to the tab dividers. Before I cut them out, I wanted to trace them just to make the cutting process easier. So now the actual cutting. So once the tab dividers are cut, this is kind of how they look like. And now I have to glue the tab dividers onto a piece of printer paper. Thank you all so, so, so much for watching. I really hope that this setup helped. And you know, it's a very simple setup, but I think it's a great way to save money. It does take some time, but it's a very nice way and kind of therapeutic if you think about it with all the coloring and stuff. I'm sorry guys, I wasn't able to show you everything because I don't have a hole puncher, so I'm not entirely done with this setup. But if you like these types of videos, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. Thank you in advance. Please leave future video suggestions down below as well. Thank you guys, and I'm just wishing you all a wonderful rest of your day and a great school year. Thank you all so much. Bye!